what's going on unity community i am unity community this will fall into my voice memos that i've been doing on my youtube channel this is only journaling for me so i don't want nobody to be thinking like oh, okay these are videos no this is only journals and memos that i have been doing for the past i want to say month ever since may ever since i started my blog i am unity check that out www what's i am unity com so i do usually i i've been doing a couple of voice uh voice memos you know just to me talking on uh, a recording and just giving my opinion about my day and how my day went it's just you know just to kind of record my everyday process so uh if you haven't go check out some of those videos you never know i might say something you know that could inspire someone that's that's my whole purpose and goal and sometimes i'm doing these these videos it's to kind of vent and so I can look back on it in my future and kind of see my growth or see you know what what was my mindset in this day of time at this hour on this particular day so hey this is all about me recording my life and uh my journey when it comes down to being an entrepreneur in my own vision uh dealing with my own vision because back in november i had did a vision board for the first time i am 30 years old and this was my first time uh, ever doing a vision board and i was so excited i was like so prepared to take on 2020 and then boom here go covid 19 and um it 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 kind of stirred me away for a little bit but overall i must say that i have already accomplished three of my goals uh off my vision board so that's a wonderful thing i'm so happy <laughs> so let's get right on to it i always start off saying your unity because this is like a diary for me and uh today was a good day you know i woke up I am still in my right mind. I'm still healthy. So that along, I am grateful. Uh, I Today was a rainy day, a rainy pouring day. It's still outside rainy. This is Dallas, Texas, May the 16th, 2020. And it was a, it's a rainy day. It's very kind of windy and rainy today. But that's Texas. It's it's tripolar. It's so funny because I always tell people Texas is like a woman. You don't know what you might get in the morning time. Don't play with me. Yes, I know I went to I know I went to sleep sunny and happy. But you know I might wake up and it might be a whole other mood. It's I might give you a rainy day. <laughs> so uh so yeah, so that's normal for anybody who stayed in here. We kind of used to it. It's sunny, 90 degrees one day, snowing the next day. So uh let's just back it up. Yesterday, I didn't get home until like 10 something at night. I threw uh a celebration for my daughter's birthday. I have two daughters birthdays which is in may they are growing up to be so beautiful um young ladies oh my gosh i'm in love with them their name is london and paris and they are a dream come true so nevertheless they enjoyed themselves and i'm just gonna let people know out there that's kids because i'm a single mother and what i what i have learned is kids are so simple i think as parents some parents overdo things and then they tend to lose focus of it doesn't take much to please a kid a lot of you guys go out your way and go broke for doing what for trying to impress who because you cannot be buying all this stuff to try to impress your kids because let's just be honest with you kids do not care about jordans kids do not care about you know uh true religion and name brand clothes they they care about looking presentable so they won't get probably picked on but i promise you and i'll never forget somebody say you put a pair of spider-man's shoes and a pair of jordans in front of a kid and you simply ask the kid which shoe do you want to wear today they are going to pick those spider-man shoes because you know why kids 
do not care about materialistic things. And if they do, sometimes that is taught within them. So that's not to downgrade anybody that does buy name brand clothes and give their kids everything. My kids are very blessed. But one thing I always try to instill in them is that, you know, don't feel like people have to do this or don't feel like you have to have a certain type of thing or it's the end of the world because I might have it today and then don't have it tomorrow. I don't ever want to put in my kids' heads that once I don't got it, then that means that I'm a bad mom. It's okay to say no. But nevertheless, uh, I'm doing a good job when it comes down to that because my kids already know. No. <laughs> if I don't have it, no. I do believe in staying within your means and uh, living within your means. Staying in your lane. And my lane is my budget, my budget, my money. So, you know, uh, you're going to be thankful. Now, their budget, their time and their money. Now, time of the team, they don't have a budget. So, you know, you can't, you can't, you definitely cannot instill materialistic value in your kids because you're creating a monster. Uh, so they enjoyed themselves. Uh, they really did. They it made me so good. You know, it made me so glad to hear that they enjoyed themselves. They kept telling me that. So we had a good time. So I'm thankful and grateful that my daughters are able to see another year and another birthday. Because a lot of people know that I'm dealing with a young lady that was a part of my dance group, and she had passed away as a, a, a from an asthma attack, and they right there kind of took me by surprise because she passed away on Mother's Day and oh my goodness it kind of uh, messed me up because I love that little girl so much I love all the girls in my dance group they are like my babies and uh, I'm missing them crazy because we haven't had practice but uh, I am going to reach out and start doing some more stuff because I'm not going to let this this uh, situation distance me from them so that's something that's been on my mind heavily. Uh, so today was a good day. I really kind of stayed in the house most of the day. Uh, I've been just looking up different type of stuff, you guys, uh, for my blog and just trying to figure out different streams of incomes because this right here is uh, showing me that is it, this is the time to do your research this is the time to learn a new skill this is the time to get in action and you know take your time and look into stuff i already started my blog and now my next step is what else can i do to keep that fire and desire within me because i'm gonna tell you guys now back in 2000 and uh I suppose I've been doing this back in 2016 and I'm just now putting this uh putting this vision out here in the atmosphere and I always kind of regret it because I'd be like oh my god how far could my blog could have been if I would have just kept doing going no matter my trials and tribulation and what I was going through sometimes that's what happens when you're stepping out on faith and you're trying to do something that you love it's not going to be easy you're going to have issues when it comes down to probably your family life your personal life um your job you know your financial ability or even when it comes down to your transportation, you're going to have trials and tribulations. So at the end of the day, are you going to quit your job if you found that, oh, okay, um, my car is messed up. I know people to this day still get up and go to work when the car messed up because they know if they don't work, they don't eat. Or, you know, you're still going to get up and make a way out of no way. So when it comes down to this blog, even though I started it 2020, I am still thankful and grateful that I put it out there. Because you guys, the feedback that I've been getting back from people that did give me their story way back then, I'm just now picking it out. I feel guilty because I was like, oh my God, I waited so long to put their story out. I hope they don't be like, girl, let it go. It's four years ago. I'm a changed person. But just to even get their feedback and for them to take, go back and look at that interview and take a reflection and be like, Queen, oh my goodness, thank you so much for putting that out there. I needed that. I needed to, you know, feel that. That was so inspirational. You guys, that's the best thing that could have happened. So be very mindful when it comes down to you know, going for your dreams. It doesn't matter if you're 20, 30, 
40, however years old, still believe that you can do it. Don't sit over here and get discouraged. Don't sit over here and feel like that. Um, that oh okay when i'm too old don't ever say that time is patient you have to believe in yourself because sometimes you might have a dream and you know you might admire something and people don't believe in you because every other year you coming up with a new idea you got a new idea like oh my gosh i got a new idea i think i want to do this i think i want to do that do it you know sometimes you have to prove people Sometimes you're gonna have to, uh, people are gonna have to see your your actions, and you know, and then they'll they'll jump on board, and then that gives that gives the ball back in your court, and be like, hey, you know, at least I know they are loving and being authentic with me because uh, lately I've been ordering stuff from different people that I don't even know, but half of these people. I have seen their grind and their hustle throughout the years, and it inspired me. So you don't ever know who watching you. I said that in another one of my voice memo. You don't know who watching you and where your blessing might come. So I always go hard for your goals, your dreams. That's your baby. You know what I'm saying? For the women out there, they know how it feels to carry a child. You carry a child for nine months. You see what I'm saying? You go through that sickness. You going through labor. You going through everything. When you birth that child, ain't no giving up that child. Because you like, no, I went through too much. This is my baby. You know what I'm saying? To death do us part. We're going in. So keep that mindset when you go for your dreams. For the fellas and everything else, anything that you put your heart and desire in, keep that going. Treat that like a child. Treat that like that's your baby. That's your that's your future. You know, and then uh, the success will come. You know, the success will come. You just gotta keep on having faith. The size of a mustard seed, they say, is all you need. <laughs> so that was basically. That was basically my uh how my day went today. Nothing uh nothing too major. But before we go, I always try to leave like a little quote or something uh about my day. Or not about my day, just something they probably can, you know, a little something. Uh I'm reading out of Power of a Prayer of the Woman. I got this book back in 2016 from my Shiro, Shirley Price. She gave this to me as a gift, and I just now found it again. So I've been reading it. So uh, it's like a prayer book, but uh, it says, Save through Christ alone. Lord Jesus, how said you must be when you said the pride that consumed humanity, the gift of salvation was a great sacrifice for you. But now it is available to us yet so many people try to save themselves some call on you for their salvation but trust in themselves to work out the details others live only for the moment and refuse to acknowledge their need i'm so glad you saved me lord thank you for eternal life and then uh that's just thing that you know uh that i've seen in the book and stuff like that so this is the first video of me just showing my face you guys sometimes i'm gonna come on here i look a little raggedy but hey probably look a little raggedy now but like i say this is a voice memo so it's just me recording and kind of venting so i love you guys love peace and unity